South Sudan is a scene of chaos just days after its Independence Day. Fighting in the capital, Juba, has intensified as government soldiers and former rebels trade fire. The fighting, which began just days before the Independence Day, has claimed scores of lives. It is unfortunate that we have lost lives at a time when we were not expecting any f lives to be lost. But it, had, it has happened. Nevertheless, we say, let us go back to the CPA, let us go back to the agreement, let us go back to the implementation of the agreement. On Friday, the world's youngest nation marked five years since its independence, with an economy in ruins, a deepening hunger crisis and violent clashes throughout the country. This is not the South Sudan people hoped for when they voted to split from the north in a referendum five years ago. The vote for independence in 2011 and the birth of the world's newest nation, there's huge optimism and hope and uh, for now, five years in, to be looking at a situation that is every bit as bad as it was during the 22-year civil war is quite disheartening for people. Civil war was erupted in 2013 when President Salva Kiir accused his deputy Riek Mashar of plotting a coup against him. Tens of thousands have died and the ensuing humanitarian crisis has left over 2 million people displaced and almost 5 million in need of emergency food. Last year, Ki and Mashar signed a long-awaited deal to end the violence, but it seems that peace exists only on paper. Since independence was declared, we haven't seen any changes. There are big security problems, prices at the markets are bad. We didn't need this independence, and I wish we had stayed one country with Sudan. The country's economy has crumbled because of the war. Inflation is soaring and the currency has plummeted by 90 percent. Widespread corruption and the near collapse of its vital oil industry only add to the world's youngest country's economic woes. Bureau reports, ANN7.